We've got great news from Fisker. They are rolling out over-the-air updates for the Fisker Ocean One. Let's go over the email. Hello, thank you for being a valued Fisker customer. We're excited to let you know that a series of over-the-air software updates will be rolling out for your vehicle starting as soon as today and will continue throughout the course of your ownership. The features are being rolled out in batches. When an OTA is scheduled for your vehicle, you will receive a notification on the central touchscreen to accept or dismiss the update. Release notes for the current OTA are available here. In the future, release notes will be available in the software tab in the central touchscreen settings. New over-the-air updates will require you to initiate the installation using your vehicle's central touchscreen. Here's how to install the software update. Prepare your Fisker Ocean. Ensure your vehicle is in a location where it receives stable cell phone reception, not relying on Wi-Fi. Verify vehicle's high voltage battery is over 40% and confirm the vehicle is not being charged. Download and install the software. Unlock the car and press the brake pedal to activate your central touchscreen. On the central touchscreen, head to the settings button, the gear icon, and then click software. You will see install dismiss buttons appear. To proceed with the installation, click the install now button below. You will see installation instructions, a 30 minute installation screen. At this point, roll up all the windows and exit the vehicle. Any additional passengers must also exit. Do not leave any children or pets inside the vehicle. Close and lock all doors. After 45 minutes, unlock and press the brake pedal to wake up your vehicle then step out of the vehicle and perform one lock-unlock cycle. Step three, your vehicle has now received the over-the-air update and is ready for use. How do I know it was successful? Your central touchscreen will say that the update was successful for 10 minutes. We will also monitor your OTA from our end and will contact you if it was not successful. Note, ahead of these software updates, we are sending an additional software component that does not require any action on your part. The software version and release notes displayed in your central touch screen will not change. This is a bug and will be fixed in a future over-the-air update. You can access the current release notes by logging into your My Fisker Web account. Don'ts. Do not enter the vehicle and or tap the brake pedal for 45 minutes after your installation has started. Interrupting a software installation could cause your vehicle to lose proper functionality. Contact the Fisker Rad Giver at support at FiskerInc.com or 844-FISKER1 if you have any questions or concerns. Do not leave objects on your vehicle seats as this may trigger occupancy sensors and block installation. If you press the dismiss button intentionally or by mistake, you will need to complete a drive cycle to trigger your software update notification. To complete a drive cycle, just shift your vehicle into gear and then place it back into park. Follow the instructions above and accept and complete your software installation. Troubleshooting. You may find that your install progress screen on the central touch screen is stuck at 99% for over 45 minutes. If you encounter this or any lagging, error messages, or other unusual behavior with your central touch screen, reset the infotainment system by pressing and holding the two inner steering wheel buttons until the central touch screen turns black. Note, rebooting the infotainment system will not sign out of any apps or delete any saved information. Current update release notes. Shorter time for multiple over-the-air updates. California mode consistent performance using the app. Enhanced accuracy of state of charge calculations. Powertrain robustness improvements. Other bug fixes and performance enhancements. Examples of future over-the-air updates. New My Fisker app features including app as key and remote climate controls. Central touchscreen enhancements including custom profiles, Bluetooth connectivity, real-time solar sky energy graphics, trip consumption data, and more. Power consumption optimization, one pedal driving, and a new power saving mode to improve battery consumption and range. Updating your Fisker Ocean with the latest software is the best way to keep your vehicle performing at its peak. Over-the-air software updates provide you with new and updated features for your Fisker Ocean. If you have any issues installing your software, please contact a rad giver for assistance. So what did we learn from this email? We learned how to do a Fisker Ocean update. We learned how long you have to wait. We learned that there's a support phone number for Fisker if you have questions or concerns. And we learned that in a future update, they have confirmed one pedal driving will be available, as well as a new power saving mode to improve battery consumption and range. And I think it's all great news. And that's what we have right now as far as details for the over-the-air updates for the Fisker Ocean 1. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Subscribe for more. We'll see you on the next one.